Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden and in today's video we are going to be going over one budget European car for every price range out there from $25,000 all the way down to $1,000. We've done a couple of these videos in the past. Uh oh, hold on. One second, one second. Watch this. Ready? We've done a couple of these videos in the past and they are, you know, pretty much we start at 25k give you a car for that budget then 10 then 20k then 15k then 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1000 dollars uh for anybody that's wondering how this series works that's how it works but without further ado just go right into the list with the first car for under 25k all right so for the first car for less than twenty five thousand dollars in my opinion one of the best options out there is the porsche cayman first generation this is the the cayman that was in all the need for speed games that you would put all the bumpers and buttholes on and you would modify it and everybody's like wow that's pretty cool it's that one not the new one those are still like 50 million dollars but the first gen comes with a 2.7 liter flat six making 245 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive that's right that's right buddy you're having fun in this porsche now pretty much all porsches in the world are rear wheel drive so that shouldn't really come as much of a surprise but the cayman is more like a if you take a 911 and give it some make it go through some like weight loss programs that is the porsche cayman and it is just in my opinion i like the caymans better than the 911s but that's just me for less than twenty thousand dollars is a newfound car that i just recently found that's kind of what newfound stands for the audi a5 f5 i love this thing i always liked the audi a5 8t i thought it was a really cool car but then i was like oh the other a5 that's way too expensive it's really not that bad though you can find these things for around like 18k all day they come with a two liter turbocharged inline four making 261 horsepower and it is all-wheel drive because duh it's an audi they're all all-wheel drive them boys over there are just slapping four wheels on everything and making all of them turn at the same time is wild uh also one big big selling point on the a5 f5 is if you were really like interiors if like you have a have a knack for them interiors and you want the fanciest of them this is the best car on the list for that look up pictures of the a5 f5 interior you will not be disappointed for less than fifteen thousand dollars let's talk about a car that i'm very seriously considering getting as my next car actually the bmw 335i f30 yeah i love this thing <laughs> I, I love it with all my heart it looks like a pocket m3 and that's because it pretty much is a pocket m3 there's a lot of stories out there where you, you could get it to be an m3 very simply uh and the reason why is because of the engine it comes with a three liter twin turbocharged inline six making 300 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive or all wheel drive that horsepower number already is really good but the motor is called the n55 and the 55 means 55 women that you're going to be picking up with this thing if you buy it it has it's really good for tuning uh full bolt-ons and tune is 400 to 450 horsepower people are saying which is crazy that's not e85 by the way that's just the tune and full bolt-ons that's pretty wild on top of that a lot of people say that all you need to do to get it to handle like an m3 is just put some m3 upper control arms on it and you're golden for less than ten thousand dollars though we're, we're definitely if you want one of these cars you're definitely going to have to you know budget a little bit because it's the mercedes sl 600 these things even though yes you can find them under 10k i'm going to be the first to tell you that it's going to be kind of tough to do so they are quite the expensive ex expensive type as of right now but if you do they're great cars they come with a six liter v12 that's whole 12 cylinders making 289 horsepower 389 horsepower i don't know why i said 200 there and it is rear wheel drive hello i mean it's a v12 making pretty much 400 horsepower in a in its rear wheel drive is it like the most unreliable car on this entire list and probably the most unreliable car i've ever talked about on my channel no because the m5 e60 exists and that's more unreliable but yeah it's pretty close it's pretty close for less than nine thousand dollars let's talk about one of my favorite european cars of all time the bmw 635 csi e24 these things are a hidden gem not really hidden i guess because they, they are kind of pricey you know they're definitely not that cheap um but they're still i feel like not a lot of people talk about them they're just like they're they are th like my favorite bmw ever uh they come with a three liter inline six making 208 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive now i know that horsepower number is very low uh and it's because it's an old car man it was built in the 80s like what do you expect back in the 80s 208 horsepower by the way it was like freaking supercar territory this thing was not slow at all back then they also have like the m635 csi which is even faster obviously um but yeah this is like I mean, it's, it's got the shark nose, man. It has the aggressive front end. It looks so retro and beautiful. For less than $8,000, let's talk about another car, actually, that I'm kind of considering for my next car, the Audi S4 B8. The B8 S4 is so underrated. Uh, we were talking about underrated with the E24 before. 
this thing is slept on. It's an S4 and they're already under 8K, dude. What the, what, what are you talking about? It was built in like 2012. Uh, it comes with a three liter supercharged V6 making 333 horsepower and it is all wheel drive. I just want to say I love when companies have that, do that with their horsepower. It's all three of the same number, like the, the, the 300 ZX, for example, that's got two, two, two horsepower. It's just so, it's so cute. And the S4 B8, they did that. Uh, it's actually a little bit slower than the B7 in terms of its actual performance, but the motor has been claimed to be better for making power and it's more reliable and it handles better, whatever. But it is a really good car, really luxurious. Audi's always had like the best interiors. For less than $7,000, buddy, we're going back to the supercar boys over at Porsche with the Porsche 944. Uh, there's also a couple other like 944, like six and then like there's also like the 928 those are also pretty cheap so i mean i guess pick one of those but i'm just going to talk about the 944 because i like it it comes with a 2.5 liter inline four making 147 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive is its performance lackluster absolutely 147 horsepower is absolutely nothing to write home about but is it still a porsche yeah Yep, it is, buddy. And it's a Porsche with an inline four, so it's probably reliable. It handles very, very, very well as well. People, it's a Porsche, you know, Porsche, even though, even if they make a car with a low horsepower number, they're still going to keep their handling prowess. And that's exactly what they did with the 944. For less than six thousand dollars so it's the first appearance of the wonderful brand Volkswagen. uh i even even though i call this like the european list i should probably just call it the german list because a lot of them are german cars but it's the volkswagen gti mark 5 honestly you could even find like a mark 6 for around this price but i don't recommend actually buying that one so we're going to talk about the mark 5 it comes with a 2 liter turbocharged inline 4 making 210 horsepower and it is front wheel drive that is actually just as fast in terms of horsepower rating as the mark 6 anyway obviously the mark 6 you know it's new so it probably has better suspension and handling components in it or brakes or it's lighter boohoo cry me a river build a bridge get over it and then on the other side of that bridge get evicted from your apartment and go back to the start of the bridge because it's a cool car all right i love i love gtis and the mark 5 is just like Mwah. For less than $5,000, if you know me, you probably thought to yourself, oh, this guy's not going to talk about any other Mercedes besides the SL600. Wrong. God, you're wrong. You don't know me. Take it back. It's the Mercedes C300 W204. This thing is pretty much like, oh, you want a C63 AMG W204? Well, you can look like you have one without the performance of one. Here it is. It comes with a 3 liter V6 making 228 horsepower and it is all wheel drive. I know you might be thinking, well, are these cars coming rear wheel drive? As far as I know, after doing a little bit of research, no, I think they're only available in all wheel drive. So pretty interesting. Uh, these European cars though are really great for tuning. And so I know that, for example, with the F30, you can um you can tune it so that it's rear wheel drive even as an all-wheel drive car so maybe you could do the same thing with this but either way luxury out the, out the wazoo it's a mercedes it looks pretty good in my opinion and it's not stupidly expensive for less than four thousand dollars let's talk about one of the most underrated bmws ever made one of just the most underrated cars ever made the bmw z3 let's let's let, let's see real quick you want a miata but you you but you're from but you wanted to support the germany boys okay uh oh what are you gonna buy the bmw c3 duh duh it comes with a three liter inline six making 225 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive that is significantly more than a miata by the way and the car doesn't weigh that much more than the miata and i know what you're thinking well is that motor any good i don't know you tell me do you like the 330 ci e46 is that a cool car to you yeah obviously it is everybody wants one of those things those things are stupidly expensive nowadays so if you like that well then you'll like this because it's the same motor same platform it's just a freaking smaller lighter e46 330 ci what is there not to like about it for less than 3k i know what you're thinking you see that little logo up at the top and you're like this guy he didn't do it i did it's another bmw two bmws in a row i love bmws what are you gonna do fight me please don't it's the bmw 328i e36 the e36 is just getting so much praise now for being the best first like project car and i totally agree it comes with a 2.8 liter inline six making 190 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive or all wheel drive you can get the option there obviously get the rear wheel drive one it's also not that hard to swap the all wheel drive one to rear wheel drive though so whatever it doesn't really matter all that much and once you do you just have a amazing platform i mean cheap parts reliable platform tons of aftermarket support tons of people that want to help you with it because a lot of people have e36s drift monster street monster beautiful looking car it's just it's just the best of all worlds and only for 3k 
For less than $2,000, however, we're going to talk about another car that's just as good as the E36, even though it might not seem like it when I say all the information about it, the Volvo 240. Yeah, that's right. We're not doing all German cars. We're getting some Swedish boys up in there with the Volvo. Uh, Volvo, it's in general, if you can find a cheap Volvo, it's usually a pretty good deal. These cars are really well made. They come with a 2.3 liter inline five. I know, kind of weird. Making 114 horsepower and it is rear wheel drive. So yeah, the horsepower number is slow. What about it? Okay, it wasn't built to be a race car, the Volvo 240, but the, it's just an absolute thrashing monster, dude. You can go driving around every corner at Mach 10 in a Volvo 240, and uh-oh, you spin out? Don't worry, it's just more fun now, because it's a Volvo 240, and it handles drifts like crazy. There's a reason why Russians pick these up all the time and slide them around every corner possible. But for less than $1,000, we're sticking in Sweden. We're sticking in the Sweden, boys, because we're talking about the Saab 900. The original Saab 900, by the way. I know they came out with like a new one in the early 2000s. I don't like that thing. It's boring. So we're talking about the OG, the OG Willikers. Yes, you can still find these under 1K, and they're still an amazing deal, in my opinion. They come with a 2-liter inline 4, making 133 horsepower, and it is front-wheel drive. These cars are used all the time as like rally cars, so... The reason why is because they're really light and they are also like have a really weird but well working wheelbase so that works out for it too and they're just kind of quirky you know people just like how they look so odd it obviously is definitely a car that won't fit everybody's standards uh it's you know definitely a weird looker for sure but if you like the looks then it's an amazing option but ladies and gentlemen that is the end of today's video of the best european cars for every single budget starting from 25k working all the way down to one thousand dollars i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this we do content like this all the time on this channel we're at eighty one thousand subscribers what about it what are you gonna do about it so click that subscribe button if you enjoyed it really goes a long way and we're trying to get to 100k i really want one of those little plaques you know that says congratulations mark Roden, on passing 100,000 subscribers i want one of those i'm gonna put it on the hood of my car not really but i'm gonna put it somewhere really valuable